Um, but just real quick in a nutshell, what we do, we do, uh, like I said, vision and dental care, um, primarily among the Hispanic community. Uh, the first thing we do tell people is we do not just see Hispanics, we target Hispanics, but we see anyone uh, so long as they can't afford it, can't access the care in any way. Our only qualification is that you do have to live in Jefferson or Shelby County. So if you know of someone or uh, are familiar with people who might, who might need this service, we're happy to help, but they do have to live uh, in Jefferson or Shelby County. Uh, how we do what we do is we set up uh, Sunday afternoon screenings at different churches. Uh, you'll see that's actually our, our old new letter. We're putting out a new one this month, so that's some of 2010 dates. The business card I have, though, actually has our, our dates for this year, the different churches we'll be at. Uh, we do these on Sunday afternoons where we have volunteer dentists, volunteer eye doctors, and a whole host of other volunteers come and uh, see these patients. And again, they're set up at, at churches. The reason that we're at churches is because uh, that's primarily when the Hispanic community can most readily access us is Sunday afternoons. You and I can go to a doctor's appointment on Wednesday at 2 p.m., but if you're uh, working an hourly job, that's probably not an opportunity that you have. Uh, your boss might let you off or you're just going to have to... Uh, lose money because you can't afford to, to lose if you, if you do that on the weekday. So it's Sunday afternoon, our patients come in, they get checked in, uh, they do see the, the volunteer eye doctor, the eye doctor examines them. Uh, usually what our patients on the vision side of things are there for, they need glasses. Uh, if they need glasses, we go ahead and get them their prescription that day. The only time we will ever ask a patient for money is for glasses. We charge $60 for single vision, $75 for bifocals. Um, of course, if you're in ball glasses, that's a great price. But, uh, of course, many of our patients can't afford that. And through Lens Crafters, we have a, a, a deal worked out where if you need glasses, we get you glasses for free. So we just ask if they can pay. If they can't, that's okay. We still get them glasses. People with more in-depth vision situations are referred to our vision clinic. That operates four times a year. Callahan Eye Foundation Hospital down at UAB for volunteer ophthalmologists uh, do further work as far as looking into patients' eyes, dilation, uh, that type of thing, and that's four times a year. And then on the dental side of things at the screenings, uh, the patients come, are seen by the volunteer dentist. The dental side of things is what we do primarily because that's where the huge need is for dental care. It's not covered under most government programs. It's very difficult for people to access and it's extremely expensive, and if you've ever had any dental problems, you know you generally need help immediately. It's very, very painful and it's very, very serious. Uh, but at the screenings, the patients come, they're seen by the volunteer dentists. We will then, uh, the, the dentists at the churches will just look into the patient's mouth, just examine them, not do any work there on the day of the screenings, but just examine them, see what's going on, and then we will uh, refer them to our dental clinics uh, which is, operates out of our trailer. We run those 22 times a year now, and they're also on Sunday afternoons, uh, where our volunteer dentists will do x-rays, cleanings, fillings, extraction, uh, even some oral surgery work now. We have some oral surgeons volunteering for us now, uh, so they'll do that work there. Um, in addition, at the screenings, we'll have uh, educational segments, such as vision education, which teaches patients basically how to keep their eyes safe. Uh, we hand out free safety glasses, um, deal with a lot of manual labors, that's, uh, that's a situation that, that we run into a lot. So we hand out safety glasses, talk about keeping your eyes safe, and then we'll do dental education, which Julie's daughter, Mary, is very helpful with, um, where we teach people how to take care of their teeth, how to brush, how to floss, and um, we'll give away uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, and floss. And then we'll also do nutrition education, which teaches people how to read food level, food label, what foods are good to eat, what foods to try to stay away from, and that's very uh, it's, but um, that's in a real quick nutshell what we do. I'm going to talk a little bit further, uh, more in depth about that and show a video um, and kind of talk about a little bit about how we got started.